Now let me show you how to calculate the number of sheets of drywall or any sheet goods using the Construction Master Pro. And keep in mind the keystrokes will be exactly the same for those of you using the desktop model. This calculation is based on the square footage uh, of coverage needed. You can either multiply to get the square footage, for example if you had a room 21 feet uh, long and it had 9 foot 6 inch walls, get the surface area and I hit convert and over the height key it says drywall. So the first press tells me for a 4 by 8 sheet we need 6.23 sheets, so call that 7 sheets. Second press gives me 4 by 9 sheets, that'd be 5 and a half, so you'd probably round up to 6 sheets. And you got 4 by 12 sheets, you just need a little bit over 4. And this is the gross surface area, there's 199 square foot that we calculated. Another way to do it is if you already know the square footage, you can enter it directly. 1455 square feet is my wall surface area of, of a room or a house. I can then just convert that to drywall and go through all the same number of sheet calculations. Now let me show you one other way to do it using the length, width, and height functions where you can calculate the surface area and sheetrock needed for four walls of a room and the ceiling all in one pass. Say it's a 14 foot 7 inch uh, long room that's 21 feet 8 inches wide and the walls are 9 foot 6. 9 feet 6 inches high. Second press here of height gives me volume which in this case is irrelevant. Press it again. There's my wall surface area. That's all four walls. There's 688.75 square feet. Pressing it one more time gives me the room area. That includes the four walls plus the ceiling area. So now I can take that number and hit convert drywall. And for four by eight sheets, I'm going to need 31.3, that'd be 32, 28 sheets of four by nine, and about 21 sheets of four by 12. So that's a quick overview on the drywall function. For more details, you can download our user guide at www.calculated.com support.